Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. I'm up here to de-swampify before Emma's client arrives and feed the sheepies. Tweed had joined Linda, who has the horse up here. Get down, Tweedy. So uh, she's with us as well. I think the first thing I need to do is fill up some bowls with food. Uh, here they are. And then go and put them in a stable so I can be left in peace to clear up the pooey uh, pathways that have been created and wash all the water away. Breakfast is served. And now I need to get the swooshy thing and swooshy it all off the end. Ooh. One clean stable. I did a complete clean because that was pretty grubby in there. Let's turn that off before I release them all. I have swept most of this water away, although it just keeps seeping back off the grass again. It's a never ending mission to try and keep some of the water off of here. But it does wash away the poo, so I suppose there's pros and cons. I need to get these two on a lead, and they're not going to like it, but I need to hose down the bottom of them they're very pooey. Bowls rinsed out. Autumn always slurps her drink and so does Nelly. Hello lovelies. And I've scraped out and swept out as much stinky water as I can from in here, ready for when the next big hay bale comes in, no straw bale comes in, um, which I am assuming I can't get hold of at the moment because she's got a little bale in the wheelbarrow, which I've just used half of. I'm home and the next job is clearing up all the poo out here. This is just one night's worth of poo. Um, and then I need to clean out the goose pen. I've emptied all of the very stinky wet stuff out. I've scraped all out, I've had gloves on, scraped out as much as I can with my hands. I'm going to brush this up afterwards. I'm going to layer this up with some um, absorbent beddingy stuff. I've got pea mats as you can see, it just makes it easier when I clean it out. Um, and then let's have a look. I've got some straw as well. Some straw, I've got some of this bedding. I think I might use that first of all and then the straw on the top. All clean. I bought pots. I totally forgot I'd bought pots. I don't actually remember when I bought pots. Um, I'm going to take some mud, fill it up and then I can put some bulbs in, stick it out the front where the dogs won't dig it back up and see what happens. There's a goose loose about me hoose. Oh, I am absolutely filthy. I've also decided to sort out their pen um, and the water is so waterlogged, uh, the mud sorry, is so waterlogged, I filled up the two big ones, not these ones, but the two big ones, but I've had to leave them over there with drain holes in them at the bottom um, because it was just like sludge, basically. Uh, it's not on yet. What do you think, Timmy? House goose? House goose? I've penned off that area there. I'm hoping because it's bright orange that um, uh, Marjorie's not gonna walk into it because that wouldn't be great. I have ushered them back out of the house and put them in the garden, back in their pen. Uh, the dogs have trashed the sofa. Uh, that is Jackie's bucket, which I've rinsed out and I must take it back to her. I've swept in here, but I'm gonna mop all the way through because I've walked muddy wet footprints all the way through the house I'm walking around in <laughs> slippers and no trousers because uh, my waterproofs were absolutely disgusting right let's get this it's now heated up so I can fill up this with some water and some disinfectant I am showered goodness did I need that I've got pond mud on my face and all sorts um, but I feel better knowing that those jobs are done. Um, 
there's you know my weekends are often speckled with work jobs you know things i have to go and do to earn some money so and, and today is no different with i'm going off to do the sh well i've done the sheep and i'm going off to do two cat sits and so i needed to get those jobs done because if i left it till monday then i've got all of the dogs dog walks and stuff to do and i'm meeting a lady about pets in the or a potential pet sit in the village tomorrow and i've got to pick kenzie up so yeah not enough hours in the day so i've got two hours now between well having my having done all the things i was going to do this morning and then having to go and do the pet sits the pop-ins and go and get kenzie i want to go by the garden center and pick up some grass seed i need to do that as well factor that into my time frame so i've got two hours lee's just making another cup of tea and then we're going to watch tracker which we've been enjoying we gave constellation a try um and the reviews that should have told me really the reviews said it was sort of gravity-esque and other ones which i hadn't actually heard of but lee and i've just been discussing it we were very confused and i think that is the aim of it is to confuse you but when you're so confused that you're just watching it going i don't get it and then they've got arty fartsy bits of floating snow that stops in the air and yeah you're just like what is going on there's no explanation there's no real sort of narrative to it other than to confuse you so yeah we've given that up that is not for us it's it's I said it's a bit pretentious really it's a bit pretentious it's one of those where i think they the, the people think if they make it artsy fartsy and confusing then it's for the thinking folk um and i'd class myself as a relatively you know one of the thinking folk but when i watch tv i don't want to be confused all of the time I just want to be enjoying something light-hearted and that's not going to tax my brain. I'm usually on the down then. I haven't got brain or energy capacity to start working out what on earth is going on. On something that's... I like twists and turns, don't get me wrong. We like twists and turns, don't you, Lee? Things with more twists and turns than twisty turns. Yeah, we like that. We just don't like artsy-fartsy, pretentious... pretentious waffle so yeah that's a no from us but i'd be interested to see what others think of it because you know others might enjoy it if anyone's watching it let me know i mean it does say in the reviews that you have to really be invested in it to get through the first three episodes and then you you know you're kind of a bit more invested in it but i'm not sure i want to invest in something that's just going to leave me confused right we're going to watch tracker and then we'll I'll come back to you in a bit. I've come to see Claude. Where's Claude gone? He was on my lap a minute ago. No, nope, he's vanished. Um, he's had his food. I'm just having myself a nice cup of tea, which is in a thermos. It's flipping freezing in this house. I don't think she leaves the heating on when she goes away, which is understandable. But um, it's very cold when I come in. <laughs> so I'm hanging out here for a little bit. I've done his litter tray and everything. And I will then head off to Risborough and feed Pumpkin, who is the cat I'm looking after in Risborough. Claude, hi, coming up, coming up. Claude. I need to try and entice him back into the house now. There's a lot of birds in this tree tweeting. Claude, this way. Claude, come on, time to go in. I've got another cat to feed. Job number three. Do you want to go in the garden? You better come back again. You better come back again. Go on then. I'll leave this open for a bit actually. 
I'm sure you'll come back for food. Meow. Meow. Very vocal. Pumpkin, you're being very, very vocal. You have a lot to say, Pumpkin. I've already let you out. You know what? This is like a really dodgy, unlucky dip while you're rummaging around for poop nuggets. I think I've got all the poop nuggets out, luckily for your eyes. I'm going to take this up as well because Kitty Cat had spread cat litter all over the landing. So Pumpkin would not come back in, which meant I had to go and grab Pumpkin. I very carefully picked Pumpkin up, but... I was savaged. I was savaged. Yep, I have been savaged. I think my tetanus is up to date, so I'm not going to worry too much. It does sting a little bit though, and I do need, I think, some kitchen towel on my various slices. I think that one there, down by my thumb, I'm sure that was a tooth mark. I think that was a tooth mark. Those are all scratches. And uh, yeah, that's all scratches. So I won't be letting her out again while I'm here because she just stays in the garden and refuses to come back in again even rattling the treat packet. Now I've cleaned up my savagedness -ness -ness, and it seems to stop bleeding it does hurt though um, I am going to go and buy some grass seed and then go and pick Kenzie up because it's getting on to be that time um, don't worry I have had my tetanus I had my tetanus back when I got squirreled when I first bought Spog and I got squirreled, bitten by squirrel three times. Long story, it's in my van van playlist, van trip playlist, if you're interested. If I can find it, I will tag it somewhere in the video or in the description. Um, but it's worth a watch. The uh, video front is about, it was when I first bought Spog. So the video you're looking for is quite yellow on its thumbnail and it has Spog being dealt with by an AA man because uh, Spog broke down on the way home and I can't remember what I called the video but it's worth going to watch if I can find it I will tag it. We are back home Lee is making tea We've got the tumble dryer going that's what all the noise is and that is my dinner that I've just heated up it's a chicken in a white creamy sauce with lots of vegetables and rice 